Ruthless? Recently, their owner and founder, Andy Deering, CEO of Boundless, moved his company from the bright lights in the big city of New York and moved it to St. Louis. Why? What's going on? Andy Deering, CEO of Boundless, joins us. Good morning, Andy. Thanks for checking in. Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me on the show. You got it. Your company's been here how long? We have been based, or we've been out of here for the past uh, three years, but uh, just had a small satellite presence here and uh, just uh, moved the, the headquarters this direction. Now, you're officially, uh, you're originally from St. Louis, right? I am. I, I grew up uh, northeast Missouri in a farm and uh, came down and went to school here. And really and truly, I, I haven't left, uh, but I, I took over as a CEO position and moved the headquarters here uh, from New York City where, where we were founded and, and headquartered. We'll get to what Boundless does in a second, but sitting as a CEO in, in a New York City company, what went through your head and your reasons why to move the company here? Oh, there's so much stuff that uh, so many great things that are going on here in St. Louis. I think a lot of what you see today from the technology side of things, and I, I heard earlier, um, the, maybe the lack of resources or lack of uh, talent that might be existing in St. Louis. I truly believe there's a lot of talent that's happening and occurring here, especially around the business that we work in, which is location-based or what we call geospatial technologies. There's a nice uh, center of, of, of excellence that's happening here in St. Louis, and we wanted to be a part of that and have that at our core and our roots here, uh, and especially me being from here and, and uh, working with a lot of the companies and organizations around the area for, for many years. Um, St. Louis is in a, you know, there is no place better than St. Louis to, to have the headquarters. When you first brought this idea up to your investors, your developers, your people, to other people in the tech industry who didn't know about St. Louis, what kind of reaction did you get? Well, it, it is funny. Uh, we are in the, the geospatial business and geography, and, and a lot of folks are like, well, where's St. Louis? Um, but, you know, it, it, uh, at the heart of it and, and where we see a lot of our uh, interest and investment coming in from our customers, St. Louis is the perfect match. Uh, we do work closely with the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency downtown. We work closely with Monsanto and others uh, in the area. So it just made logical sense. So from our investor perspective, they, they thought it made complete sense. And from the talent pool and the pipeline that we're able to get here in St. Louis, it, it equally made sense. I don't know why other companies don't do this because of technology, because you don't have to be in New York to be in New York. It's exorbitant in terms of price and square footage and everything else. Why don't more companies move to places where it's cheaper to house your mainframes, even if you guys, I don't know if you guys still use mainframes or not, if that's all. But right, I mean, but I mean, you still need back office stuff. You still need office space. Why not do it in a cheaper place if you don't have to be in New York? The trend and the tide is turning I, in many senses. You're seeing a lot of organizations that are starting to pop up and move headquarters. You're seeing a lot more virtual workplaces where the, you can get, if you need, you know, high-powered talent, you don't have to have be pulling from everybody in the in the valley and, you know, out, out on the West Coast or out on the East Coast. Uh, so from our perspective, you know, we can get the best talent that we need to if we need, if we need to virtually. But here in St. Louis, growing and building a presence and, and having what we call almost like a geospatial hub here in the area – to where we can pull in, you know, and have customer meetings and, you know, be able to interact and, and show what we're doing. It just, you know, from our sense, it made a lot of sense to be able to, to do this and to bring this back to St. Louis and ultimately look at establishing our, our growth plans here in the area and offer up a completely different lifestyle for folks that want to come back and move back to St. Louis because the, the dollar goes a long, long way here than it does in New York City. Are you here because of the geospatial um, investment that's going on here in St. Louis? Yes. If it would have gone to Orlando, Florida, would you have moved the company to Orlando, Florida? Uh, that's a good question. I, I guess that would... Uh... There'd be many factors if I were to move it to Orlando, but uh, no, I, at this point, uh, the, the geospatial center here and, and the investment that's going on and all the startups that are starting to come up in, in and around the area, um, you know, that, that's the main reason that we're, yeah. we're here. Let's talk about talent pool. You are finding the talent you need in St. Louis? We are. We are. There's a lot of great pipelines from the university systems to – Organizations like Launch Code, which you might have heard that we partnered with sure. earlier this year. Um, so there's a lot of great uh, stimulus that's going out there. And, and obviously, with with the big employer being in town, being around geospatial, you're starting to see a lot more organizations that are 
thinking about or educating their employees or educating their, their students or others around geospatial or geography or location technology. Andy Deering, what does Boundless do? We are a what we call a geospatial technology company. We're a software company, and we are an open source software company, meaning uh, you know you can grab our code and work with it. And so we share our technology with students and educators, and uh, and with large business and co- businesses and corporations. What our technology does is help organizations make the most out of location information. So you hear about location, location, location with regard to real estate or with regard to businesses or with regard to national defense. That technology that rides behind it is our technology. And helping organizations maximize either their their revenue or you know safety or security, those are all being powered by ge- what we call geographic information systems. And, I mean, really, people don't understand this, but it's not just your GPS on your phone. This whole space is exploding, is it not? It absolutely is. And, you know, the GPS on your phone is one key sensor and a multitude of sensors that are popping up around that are describing where you are, what you're doing. And obviously it can be scary, but in many aspects it makes your life easier to where, you, you know, when you're going to be at a destination or equally if you're in the business sense, where to put, where's the best location to drop your next store, or your next retail location. So those are where you're seeing organizations trying to make the most of this information that's coming in that might have some sort of a location attribute to yeah. it. Uh, where did you locate the business? Where is it? We are downtown uh, on Washington Avenue. We're located in the T-Rex building. Yeah, okay. And then uh, how many employees did you bring back to St. Louis? So we have 25 people here locally. Our company is around 100 people uh, globally. So we have folks uh, in and around in the United States and, and all over South America and, and Europe and, and all around. But uh, from our side of things, we're going to look to establish and kind of keep this hub growing here in St. Louis. Are you looking to expand and hire more people? Mm-hmm. We are. We are. So 2018 and 2019, we have growth plans to continue hiring up uh, developers and, and folks that know uh, about ge- geography, geographic systems, and, uh, and location-based systems. Uh, and um, are, you, are you a private company? Are you a public company? Are you planning on going public? So going public it will probably be in the future plans. We are a, a private company. We have an investment a series of investors that have invested in us a, a few times over the past uh, five years. Uh, Andy Deering, CEO of Boundless. You find it interesting, Andy, that you're the head of a geospatial company and you couldn't get here because of traffic this morning? <laughs> hey, but I used geospatial to, to help me tell you that uh, I was not going to be there. <laughs> so, a- absolutely. So it, it, it enabled me to do that. But, yes, absolutely. I'm, I'm telling you, it, one of those mornings, right? Uh, Andy, listen, uh, we would love to keep track of your company and sort of check in from, from time to time. Is that all right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love it. It's a great story. Andy Deering, uh, to you and the uh, gang at uh, Boundless, happy Thanksgiving, and thanks for your honesty, and uh, best of luck, and we'll talk to you down the road. Happy Thanksgiving.